Saturn Delta, not easy, uh, two guitar and the horns, and uh, so there's a lot of licks, jazzy stuff, and might not give you all the licks and details, but uh, give you a few and like the shuffle groove, 
because you can make your own riff around that idea. So the intro, sorry, the intro is so it's between A and G. This is the intro, and then it's gonna. There's always like and, then, and you don't give the major or the minor. So on the first beat we can see like on the G is gonna be one. That you can groove, it's really fun. So you can put the octave there. Alright, and then after a little while there's a break in A. So easy that leg, but let's say we're in A minor again. And so, and the second guitar is gonna do the A minor seven there. gonna stick with the we stay in the G and there's a modulation there which is a groovy fun with the arms holding the note so we stay in G Add some like notes. Keep the, the thumb there. And then we must we it goes in G sharp right here. And again he plays like those kind of notes. But we have to stay on the, the G to G. Here he, he moves, but he's, we reach, we look for the C. We go in C minor. So even he, sometimes he moves, but we get still on the, the G sharp there. And then again, it's just passing note to go, we go back to G minor. And you can like just do that, but. Minor. Are you been there? And you go back to G sharp. And you, so you, you 
can do a lick with this. And you go back to C minor. And that's the end of the modulation. So that's really interesting and like about the little solo we do above doing above. Like so we start like a we start in G. So that note is out of the pentatonic. And this you like you this is kind of lick. We can always do it in the pentatonic, it sounds good. It's kinda of like a, a C and a D. So it does like sorry. It's like just so here is the, the major third there. That's a cool thing. And then we're going to G sharp there, so we just go. Minor, there you just doesn't do anything. When you go back to G, G minor, you you just mess around with octave stuff like, and we go back to G sharp. So you go triplets and one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, and go back to C minor. the riff and so uh, and then there's gonna be a guitar solo there Actually, it's still like the guitar, so a little continuing, I guess. So, my other rhythm changed a little bit there. So, it's it's more simple to let more place the guitar. So, we're doing like uh, the A, and sometimes you can go reach the, the, the ninth chord. Kind of stay on the G like this. And there the solos there. Just go up step on the third beat. And one. And one. And a simple pentatonic. And it goes here. Then you down pick. And here. And go back here. Set up seven fret. That's interesting licks going there and bending. You can it's a good place to And then it goes to 
Okay, there. And the main drum here. The A shape. And this here is like the faint Anthony. So I don't know what that chord there. Why are you doing that? Answer back to the horn. And then it's more common in this stuff. Sorry. It follows the chord. Here is fun. It starts there. So six. Stay on there. And those kind of jazzy licks. Uh, Have some fun with that, and uh, I guess it's very difficult to do up and uh, cover that song, but maybe it's possible. Like, you keep the rhythm with the bass, the modulation, and, or you can just take the some ideas of how to make a riff around that and just jam just small sections. So, I guess a lot of ideas there you can recuperate and use uh, at your own taste and mix with other stuff so yeah guys uh, get creative have some fun and uh, see you later have a good day bye bye guys